Hello, and welcome to Beering in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, from today, we're going to take a look at a series of uh, six beers from a Scottish brewery, and that is Bell Haven. And these beers are widely available in Japan, uh, the six major ones, and they are the six kind of regular line of Bell Haven spears. Uh, Bell Haven is has its origins dating back to uh, 1719, and hence on their uh, on the beers I got, they are celebrating 300 years of uh, what they call beautiful beers, and they have a that was their their uh, uh, centennial year, and they were uh, planning all kinds of events. And uh, Bell Haven is located in Dunbar. Uh, which is uh, I guess close to the border of England, and it has been uh, family controlled uh, for all this time. Uh, in 1972, apparently they lost control of the of the brewery. Um, their beer called Bellhaven Best is their flagship, and apparently it's it's a 3.2 percent beer, and apparently it's one of the best sellers in Scotland. Um, and the 1990s, uh, there was a lot of consolidation and uh, what they call rationalization going on. And at that point, there were only six independent breweries left in the country. Uh, in 2005, uh, Bellhaven was actually bought out by Green King. And, uh, but they really basically kept Bellhaven alive, uh, where many other breweries closed. And they kind of left them alone. Uh, I think to uh, where as many brewer conglomerates tend to buy a brewery and the accountants start messing around with the recipes and the, the brew house. Uh, apparently, Bellhaven was allowed to continue doing what they do very successfully. Um, in 2011, they bought a new or they built a new brew house. Um, so, and, and actually, craft beer has quite exploded in Scotland now uh, as of. Uh, uh, now there may be around 200 craft breweries in the country. Um, so, but Bellhaven has been around probably longer than most, longer than all. In any case, uh, so an old traditional brewery. The beer. All right, and now let's take a look at the third beer in our series of six from Bellhaven, and it is this one. This is called Bellhaven Twisted Thistle IPA. And it is a, uh, they call it an American style IPA. For some reason on rate beer, it's uh, labeled as a blonde ale or golden ale. Not sure why. This is a 5% uh, beer, 5.6% with 45 uh, IBU, international bittering units. And uh, you can see on the uh, front here, a kind of rendering of what might be a, a thistle, but it's also a kind of face as well. So, uh, yeah, they have a, kind of an unusual, they call it a bold, bold, bitter, bright IPA. On rate beer, this one has 1,021 ratings, an average score of 3.14, kind of fair to middling, not so good. 43 percentile for all beers, and for its style, which they call again blonde ale or golden ale, 78 percentile. So, so not terribly high scores. This beer uses the Challenger hops, which are in most of the Bellhaven regular line, uh, Cascade for the IPA note, and Hersbrucker uh, German hop. And uh, so let's give this one a go, shall we? Again, this Bellhaven Twisted Thistle IPA, 5.6 percent and 45 international bittering units. Okay, so it is kind of a neutral sort of, not neutral, but kind of a medium, medium brown gold color uh, with some carbonation sticking to the sides and uh, a solid finger of kind of kind of not quite creamy white head and some kind of sloppy lace okay so it's very clear uh small carbonation coming up from the bottom kind of lazy carbonation and aroma let's try it out right away i get something like caramel 
quite flowery. I think this is a combination of Cascade and Hirschbrucker producing this kind of flowery note. A little bit overripe, perhaps. Flavor is a little bit sweet, kind of candy-ish. Some caramel. Touch of bitterness, maybe. Kind of mild. The bitterness is not, not way up there. Um, I, I think they're trying to go for an American style IPA, but it does not taste like that. It tastes more, more definitely more British. I wonder if this is a little bit out of date. I don't see the, uh, okay. No, it's good, supposedly good until uh, November of this year. So that's a good, uh, good six months off at least. So, uh, yeah, so thin, medium body, a little bit sticky. Pleasant, mild, more or less sweet. Uh, it kind of does kind of balance out in the end, but overall it's uh, more sweet than bitter, I would say. So once again, this is called Bellhaven Twisted Thistle IPA, 5.6%, uh, 45 IBUs. Uh, this is widely available in Japan at Yamaya stores. Uh, and I think they probably export around the world, so you can probably find it. Uh, all right, next we're going to look at another in the line of Bellhaven's regular beers, and I hope you tune in for that. Um, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. I will reply. I uh, hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.